Good day everyone. Welcome to Feast Artigas District's Food for the Soul. This is your bite-sized reflection of everyday's word happening every Monday to Saturday at 10 in the morning. Our gospel for today is taken from the book of Mark chapter 12 verse 18 to 27. Um, in our gospel for today, we meet people who are not really open to the truth. <laughs> who are these people? The chief priests, the Sadducees, the Herodians, the scribes or the Pharisees. They were all ganging up on Jesus. They all have a challenge for Jesus in our gospel for today. They wanted to persuade people that their version is the truth, that whatever they're talking about is the truth, and Jesus is not telling the truth to everyone, that he was lying, and they do not believe in, in life after death. So they asked Jesus a question that was designed to show that life after death is not real. So that, that's our gospel for today. But at the ending of the gospel, Jesus, however, doesn't does not answer their question. But what he does was he tries to share with them other possibilities and shows them that he knows his scripture, that, that that's how well versed he, he is with the scripture and that he is connected to his father. So that's the that's the gospel for today. And one thing I realized while I was I was reading this and reflecting about it. I remember a story when I was on mission in, in another country. I remember the the things that we had to do, the changes that we had to make, the structures that, that need to be in place. And I convened the whole the whole core team, the, the core group, the main leaders in, in the area or in the province that that we were trying to make changes with. We discussed the changes, we, we shared about it, we talked about it, we prayed about it, and it was laid down to everyone. So when the time came that we were about to present it to the to the whole community in, in that province, one thing I realized is that while I was presenting, there was this one one brother, uh, 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 he was old already, he was one of the pillars in the in that area, and he was he was saying that, I don't believe in what you're saying. <laughs> I was speaking and in front and he said, I think that's not what the Lord wants. And at the back of my mind, I was thinking, what are you talking about? <laughs> we've been discussing this, we've been praying about this, we've been sharing about this for, for, for how many days already? And you agreed with it. Now in front of everyone else, you're trying to, to do this, you're trying to humiliate me. And, and I was calm and I was... Uh, just sharing and going going through all of these things and and imagine during that time i wasn't even sharing in english or in tagalog i i was using a different language it was tetun that was the language in in the country that i was on mission before and i was i wanted to stop sharing i wanted to stop talking and just confront the brother confront that 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 elder that was there but I finished everything, and I in while he was still saying, I was I I just told him that uh, we'll talk about it after. Then <laughs> then let's discuss about it, and then I continued. And after that, I called him to one corner, and we were talking, and I was sharing to him what is wrong, what happened, and and oftentimes it's so hard to have that feeling that you need to prove them wrong because you talked about it, and and all of a sudden he was saying that's not. That's not what we want. That's not what the Lord wants. And that's so confusing. Have you ever been in that situation? And I think the gospel for today could, um, allows me to connect to, to the reading, to the gospel, simply because I experienced that firsthand. And it it's always hard to prove yourself when, when you know that what you did was right, when what you did was agreed upon by by everyone. And one thing I realized is that when you're in a situation like that, you need to be calm. You need to be gentle because you know what needs to be done. Just like in our gospel today, Jesus knew the scripture so well and he knew his father. So he knew what needed to be done. And I had to compose myself also because I knew what needed to be done during that situation. And I think our gospel for today reminds us also that God is not a God of the dead. <laughs> it's in the latter part of our, our gospel. God is not a God of the dead, but of the living. That God is here for us while we are alive, not when we are dead already. And I think our world is so concerned with competition. Do you agree with me? It's so concerned with competition. It generates so much violence. And oftentimes, 
it covers up for the great message, for the wonderful message that the Lord has prepared for each and every one of us because of so many things that come out of our minds and our hearts or difficult situations or in, in times like that that you need to prove yourself, you forget about the word of the Lord, its plan. It allows us to forget all of these things. And I think just like the religious people in our gospel for today, we also waste so much time arguing about details in life, arguing about details and what what needs to be done. We neglect the life-giving message of the Lord for us every day, on a daily basis. Yes, the Lord has a message for us on a daily basis, and we tend to neglect that because we want to just focus on the details, not on the heart, not on our love for God and the people around us. And I think it was Pope Francis who shared also that he noticed that when when we share the word of God, oftentimes we sound like we are coming out of, of a funeral more than of proclaiming the joy of the good news of God's love for each and every one of us. I think that's one thing that we could ask ourselves. Do we proclaim the message that God has come to give us life and life in abundance or we just share that all the difficulties, all the trials, all, or the Lord will punish you because of this, because of that, and everything that you do. And I think, brothers and sisters, our gospel for today is just reminding us that is our life a living testimony of God's love? Is our life a living testimony of God's grace to each and every person that you meet? That we are all instruments. We God uses us in in whatever situation you are in, you just have to know that it's your relationship with God. It's the Word of God. It's the joy of knowing Him. It's, it, it is what we need to share to people. Or oftentimes, you don't even have to speak. People should see that in us. We should be a living example, a living uh a walking example of God's love and grace to every person that we meet. That when people see you, they can already feel Christ in you. They can already see Christ in you. <laughs> so brothers and sisters, I think um, our reflection question for today is that, do I represent Christ in my daily life? Is Christ seen in your daily life? Is Jesus present in your life? And not just present, do people see Jesus in you? I think there's a big difference when it's just the Lord's presence in you and when people see Christ in you. That means the relationship is there. Oftentimes, they say if you are in a relationship for such a long time, you tend to be, to look alike already. You look like the same already. And that's the same thing with our relationship with Christ. If we have a deep relationship with Him, we would look the same as Christ. You would be walking, living example of Christ, of God's love and grace to each and every person that we meet. Can I lead you into a prayer? In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, our prayer for today is that may you continue to take away all our doubts and fears, Lord God. Lord, we know that it is hard to represent you here on earth, Lord God. But our prayer, Lord, is that allow us to grow in love with you every day, Lord God. Allow us to have that deep relationship with you, Lord God. Allow us to know you more so that you can live in us, Lord God, so that people can see you in us, Lord God. The way this we speak, the way we move, the way we relate with people, Lord God, may we be your instruments on earth, Lord God. And allow us to give everything, Lord God, because we know that is not an easy task to do, Lord God. Allow us to not just look at the details, Lord God, but just allow us to look at our relationship with you and you alone, Lord. Bless us today, Lord God, and use us, Lord God, as your instrument. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much, brothers and sisters, for joining us today. Again, if you are blessed, please continue to like, share, and follow us on all our social media accounts of Peace Ortigas District. Again, like, share, and follow us in all our social media accounts. And also, if you have any prayer concerns, Yes, if you're going through any difficulty, any trial, and you want us to pray for you. Yes, we are here, and we want to pray for you. Please comment your prayer concerns in the link shown. It's here. There's a link. Just just comment it there or click it and, and send your comments there, your prayer concerns, so we can pray for you. So yes, you. Whatever difficulty you're going through, whatever trial, we want to pray for you. Please let us know how we can help and pray for you. And at the same time, brothers and sisters, thank you again for joining us today. Always remember that you do not have to worry so much. Yes, you can worry. As human as we are, it's normal to worry. But just worry a little. 
<laughs> Don't worry too much. You know why? Because God is in control. God bless you all. Bye-bye. years na po akong nandito sa Jeremiah Foundation. Noong una akong napunta dito sa Jeremiah, isa po sa naramdaman ko yung hindi ko alam kung paano may kisama sa kanina dahil sa paguhan pa lang ako. Nung tumagal na po ako dito, naging ano naman po ako sa kanila. Comfortable yung kasama, ganon. Hindi naman din po mahirap. Sa loob po ng dalawang taon, siguro po yung mga nagbago sa akin is yung tutukan po yung pag-aaral ko. Unti-unti po sumunod sa mga nakakatanda sa akin at yung hindi na po sasagot. Yung gusto ko lang pong sabihin sa mga taong gusto pa pong tumulong sa Jeremiah. Pag lang po kayo maiya dahil anytime naman po pwede naman po kayong tumawag to or gusto nyo pong mag-outreach sa amin. Thank you din po sa mga nagbibigay po sa amin ng love. Hindi lang po sa mga ibang tao kundi po yung sa mga gusto po pumunta sa amin. Thank you for the love po. Music